What's up everyone? My name is Alex Padilla, the young bartender. It's been a while. Um, you know, I just, the reason why I haven't been making videos lately is because I've just been super busy with school, but I've just finished my undergraduate degree um, in, on Thursday. So I'm all done with school. Now I'm just, you know, well, working and doing summer stuff, I guess. Um, so I'm really excited to get back into making these videos. Um, during my time off, I didn't make a ton of cocktails. I was really um, focusing on the spirits individually, as well as uh, wines. I've been getting into uh, wines. Um, you know, it's just um, getting to know the spirit on an individual basis and talking like it's a person. It's not, but you know, just getting the characteristics of the spirits, um, just something that um, I didn't take that much time for, but now I uh, just love sipping some good spirits as well as making good cocktails. But let's get started, shall we? We are gonna be making something called the California Zephyr. The California Zephyr is a train from Amtrak that runs from San Francisco all the way to Chicago, making it one of the uh, longest daily Amtrak routes in the United States. Um, this cocktail was created by Ted Saucier and it could be found in his 1951 book, Bottoms Up. But talking about Bottoms Up, we gotta make this drink. Um, so let's get started, shall we? First up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of Applejack which is an apple brandy. I'm using Laird's Applejack uh, Bottled and Bond, which means it is um, not 50 proof, 50, it's 50%. So it's uh, a little bit stronger than the normal 40 proof Applejack, but. I love mixing with the Bottled and Bond because it really brings out, um, strong. it really, brings out some strong flavors from the Applejack. I don't know why we're... You can tell I haven't been making videos in a while, so we're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of Applejack. And just note that apple brandy, Applejack, it shouldn't necessarily taste like apples, so it shouldn't be like apple schnapps. Um, yes, if you do sip it, you can get notes of apple and it, it can, on the palate, it kind of, in the beginning of the palate when you sip this, you can definitely taste the apple, but it shouldn't be sweet, like, yeah, apple schnapps. Um, now we're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of just normal brandy, is what Ted Saucier said. But I'm just using a VSOP cognac from one of my favorite cognac distillers, De Luz. And yeah, whenever a recipe calls for brandy, I always say if you're gonna make, if you want to make good drinks, don't go for you know the super cheap, uh, like Christian Brothers brandy. Go go for a cognac, and cognac honestly doesn't get that. It's not that expensive, um, especially they can start around twenty two bucks. I've seen for. Um, a VS and cognac is cognac. So they have strict um, laws that govern what makes a cognac a cognac. But just remember that not all cognacs are equal and there's a reason why some cognacs are more expensive. This um, VSOP is about 30 bucks, so not too bad. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one bar spoon of apricot liqueur. I'm using Rothman and Winter's apricot liqueur. By far my favorite, the way they make it um, is they use the Eau de Vie, which is the byproduct of distilling the peaches. Um, but instead of aging it, which would make it uh, like a peach brandy, um, they steep, um, not peach, apricot. <laughs> they uh, steep the apricots into that Eau de Vie um, giving a really, really um, just unique uh, flavor to it. So now we're gonna get our tin. We're gonna put ice in our tin. Super easy. 
and we're going to shake. Okay, I need to get my strainer set up. But yeah, cognac, oh, I love cognac. Sipping cognac, mixing with cognac. Um, this is probably also, yeah, this, I just, I think this cognac is just a powerhouse um, cognac. Um, and it's a VSOP, so it really, pretty good stuff for mixing. Okay. And before I forget, we're gonna get our atomizer with our absinthe. I'm using St. George absinthe. And we're just gonna coat it, or you can, um, Pour your absinthe in there, swirl it around and toss it out. I don't like tossing it out because I'm not a big fan of wasting stuff. Okay, put that back there. And then we are going to double strain. It is a spirit forward drink. Um, there's no juices or anything like that. So we don't want any ice chunks. So we're gonna double strain into our Nick and Nora glass. And Ted Saucier says to garnish it with the orange twist. I don't have any oranges. I only have lemons and limes. Um, so I'm gonna serve it garnishless. You can do whatever you want. Um, and there we have it, the California Zephyr. Kind of looks like apple cider, but let's give it a sip. I like it. Um, it is very spirit heavy, but the sweetness of the apricot liqueur, um, really, it's very subtle, mm, but it's there and it really, those you know notes I was talking about with the apple jack, um, it, it's subtle apple notes, but it really pairs well together with each other. And then you get, when you put your, um, when you go for a sip, you can really get the aroma of the absinthe, um, which ooh, some people might not like. I like it. Pretty, it's a it's a good sipper drink. And if you like apricot, and I, I hate saying if you like apple, because again, the apple flavor is not strong at all, but just the notes of the apple are some good stuff. So thank you for watching everyone. Make sure to, how does this go again? Uh, hold on, dun, dun, dun. If you like this video, go hit like. If you're not subscribed, go hit subscribe and hit that bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I post a brand new video. I really hope that's how you do it. Um, but stay safe, everyone. Stay healthy. Go support your local bars um, and local bartenders and I'll see you in the next one.